they have officially done the very first implant. No details were given, not the name, not the reason, not the outcome. They just told you that it's going well, it was a successful surgery, and the person's recovering. They could be possibly telling you, this is the next phase to humanity. And if you don't participate in how you get there, you will never participate in society again. Elon Musk, and we've warned you before, is not the nice guy. He's not the good guy. He's not a central character. You will not be able to buy, sell, travel, do diddly squat without the mark. So what is the mark? We don't know. But we do know we have at least a slight inclination of when they're going to start rolling out the option for you to eventually get it. We talked some months ago now about Mr. Elon Musk pushing Neuralink. Well, they have successfully, officially, this is unofficial, official business now, they have officially done the very first implant. No details were given, not the name, not the reason, not the outcome. They just told you that it's going well, it was a successful surgery, and the person's recovering. The very first person to adopt in their body a piece of equipment to control either their body or be controlled in their body has been done. We are one step closer to everybody being connected by electronics. No longer will it be just in your phone, no longer just on email, no longer just on Messenger, Instagram, private messaging, WhatsApp. No, now I can talk to you with my brain to your brain via Neuralink. That's how they want to sell it. You can do your banking, you can do your medical records, you can do everything with just a thought. People are gonna be smarter. This is gonna help people who are paralyzed to walk. This will help people who are blind to see. Huh. No, 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 couldn't possibly be that they got all, nah, I, I'm, I'm tripping, I'm tripping. I thought for a minute I was quoting Bible verses when I started saying that, but that's an awful lot like what they say Neuralink is gonna do. Give you a higher conscious. Your brain will be expanded. You'll be wiser, smarter, faster, stronger. Sounds like Kanye too. Weird. But the first one has been done. Now, what does that mean? If you were to look at this from two different angles, it would mean completely different things. And it would lead you to two completely different results. If you were to look at this from the worldly perspective of it being a great idea to make sure that people who are paralyzed regain functions of their lower bodies or any portion of them that were paralyzed, it's a good thing. If it could make people who couldn't hear before be able to hear, it's a good thing. If it could make people who are blind to see great thing, people who couldn't do certain things with their body, all of a sudden they can. Alzheimer's, brain damage, all of it a thing of the past. Great idea. Let's do it. The spiritual world. Someone else now has control over your psyche. You no longer credit God with anything that happens positive to you. It's now man's doing. He no longer heals, man heals. There is a massive dichotomy going on here. One, man gets to praise, the other, God does. And trust and believe me, man knows what they're doing. I'm not saying they'll be fully successful, but they'll take as many as they can with them. This is not, I, look, I'm not saying this is the mark. To me, this is the precursor to that mark. The same way they test the waters for everything to see how you will accept it, take it, reject it. This is the first leg of that test. The first, actually the second leg of the test. The first leg of the test was when they told you they were trying to do it. And people were all golf clapping. This is great. This is amazing. We're so happy that Elon Musk is such a breakthrough pioneer in the world of mental capabilities and enhancing humankind. And we're going to go to that next level of evolution. The second phase was showing you we can indeed do it. And someone has volunteered their brave soul to step forward and take the next step in the grand scheme of human evolution. Meanwhile, on the flip side, they could be possibly telling you, this is the next phase to humanity. And if you don't participate in how you get there, you will never participate in society again. But that's good. Why? It was told that you were not going to.
And if you wanted to, you would have to go against everything you say you believe if you follow God. So you see how good this is? Because this is bearing out in reality what has been spoken about before. Again, we're not saying this is the mark. But with everything that the devil does, he tests waters. He makes sure that he butters you up, preps the ground, digs a little hole, see how deep is the water line is, make sure what he has to put in an irrigation line, get the water flowing, and pretty soon he's taken over. He's not little foxes, small ones. And before too long, no more garden. He's not going to just drop it on you. This is the mark of the beast. Take it or die. He's not going to do that. They're not going to announce this thing as the mark of the beast. They're going to announce it as convenience. <laughs> this is this is great. Think about it. You go to the store and you forgot your wallet. Oh my goodness, I forgot my wallet. Never mind. I have a little bar scanner here. I'll just sheep cross your head. Oh, you got one of them. Perfect. Or better yet, you go to the the, the, the store and you say, Oh my gosh, no wallet. Oh man, what am I going to do? Just look right here. Oh, welcome, Mr. Brown. We have just charged your bank account such and such dollars. Thank you for shopping. See how easy that was? Think of the light weight in your pocket now that you don't have to care. If you get robbed, you'll never have to worry about losing any of your bank information. The amount of convenience that they can put upon you with just this alone will intrigue many. Now understand, they're putting this in your head. There are people... I'm the kind of guy, if I don't have to have surgery, I'm not going to volunteer for it. I've had enough of them. I I've been through five. I don't need no more. I'm, I'm surgeried out. I'm done. You're not going to convince me for the sake of ease to have you enter my cranium and implant something that ain't supposed to be there and you have complete... Con nah! Mm -mm. If for no other reason, that's why I wouldn't do it. But there are going to be many that say, hold on. All of the things I need in one place. Yeah. No more purses? No. Nope. Not even a phone? No. No more phone bill? No. Wow. That's amazing. It is, isn't it? You can do whatever you want. Tra passport? It's in your head. ID? In your head. Medical bill? In your head. Medical records? We can download it for you to your mind. Don't worry about it. Everything you have, you'll need. And you do it. And then before too long, you start hearing voices in your head. And it starts telling you, this is God. Do this for me. Now, who are you to think that it's not? They never told you that it had speakers. I mean, they're not going to tell you there's a microphone up in there. No. No. I'm not saying that's how it's going to go. I'm giving you theories of why we will not be doing it. But Elon Musk, and we've warned you before, is not the nice guy. He's not the good guy. He's not a central character. He's just another one of the do dirties. The instant you can push this nonsense and try to make me believe that it's for my benefit, you're a do dirty. This is your test. And they're going to put it to you as though it's one, not just convenience, but for the greater what? Good. You need to be part of our society. You need to be helping your fellow man. In, in better yet, this is where I can see it going. This is my conspiracy theory about it. Say I have the link. And my thought process about certain things when it comes to, say, politics is a little skewed from what the majority, no, I can't say the majority, the ones in power think. And that information is now relayed to them. You, you get where this is going. He thinks this about the administration. And he has had thoughts about doing some very nefarious things. You haven't done anything. You've just thought it. And they can record your thoughts. Now they have everything you've ever thought about doing listed. You have no other recourse. You've been caught. What now? This is just another way to intrude your life. This is all this is. This has nothing to do with convenience. They, they'll put it under the guise of that. It has nothing to do with health care. They'll put it under the guise of that. It has nothing to do with helping you in your day-to-day -day life. No. This is control. And Elon Musk is at the head of it. He told you he was going to do it. He got the approval to do it. 
and he's finally actually done it. What's next? We don't know. But from what we can see, anything is available to them now. There's nothing off the table. Everything's available, and you are the guinea pig. Your options are very simple. Comply or die.